Hey guys, how's it going? Miso here, and I'm here today with not a Maple Story 1 video or a Maple Story 2 video, but kind of a video about both. So what I'm talking about is this clip right here. It really inspired me to think about what are the possibilities outside of what Nexon is doing right now with Maple Story, with both Maple Story 1 and Maple Story 2. What if Nexon had gone and created instead of Maple Story 2 a Maple Story 1 with updated graphics like 3D sprites. I think that that would be something I would really be down for. Now, let's start here. So, one of the reasons why I think that this could be an excellent opportunity for Nexon to explore is because there still is a very active and passionate player base behind Maple Story 1. You can see that in KMS. Despite there being MapleStory 1 and MapleStory 2 in KMS, MapleStory 1 is still very, very popular. So I think there is definitely an audience for a new MapleStory 1. Now, you're asking, why would you create a new MapleStory 1 when MapleStory 1 already exists? Well, that's a good question, definitely. And the reason why I would like a new MapleStory 1 is because, well, Updated graphics means that the game looks prettier, and you could say that graphics don't really matter and MapleStory does kind of have a unique look to it, but I think if you made like MapleStory 2 type of sprites except put it on a 2D plane, the game would look amazing. Now other than the graphics, I think that MapleStory 1 could really benefit from just an engine overhaul. This engine has been used basically since MapleStory first came out, and as a result, code has been added, removed, and changed throughout the years to the point where it's probably a jumbled mess, which is one of the reasons why it took them so long to get rid of pet loot lag. Now, if you had completely rehauled that engine, you could go ahead and make so many changes to MapleStory fundamentally to fix things like random crashes or random lag spikes that we encounter basically on a daily basis when we're playing MapleStory right now. They could also take this as an opportunity to tackle very long running problems like hackers and botters in the game that are so widespread these days. The reason why it's so widespread is just because of the ease of access to these hacks and bots. If the game had better coding and better security systems in place, we would not be seeing as many bots as we do right now. And this is evident in a lot of other games where it is a lot harder to get hacks and bots working in the game. And also, they might have a better security system to detect hacks and bots and ban them quicker. Now looking at things on more of a gameplay perspective, I think one of the big things that they could add to MapleStory is PvP. Now, that's not something that everybody wants, but I'm sure a good number of people would enjoy a good PvP mode. I feel like one of the reasons why we don't have a PvP mode in MapleStory is just because of how it's coded and how the net code works. Because it wasn't really built with PvP in mind, it's very hard to implement these systems that allow for PvP. Now, if we were to rework the system from the ground up, they could build the game with PvP in mind that way, we can actually have a smooth running PvP system as opposed to what they tried before, where it was a little bit of a laggy mess. I think that MapleStory occupies a very unique space in the general overall MMO marketplace. There really aren't any other 2D side scrolling MMOs that compete with it or really exist at the moment. Now, this is both a good thing and a bad thing, in my opinion. So, the good thing is that because there are no other competitors, it really allows MapleStory to be a little bit risky with their decisions. And we've seen this evidenced in the past. MapleStory has made some decisions that really weren't that great for the player base, but despite that, the player base still hasn't decreased that significantly. So looking at things through this lens, I think that MapleStory really has an excellent opportunity to experiment and try something new, like creating a new MapleStory 1. But also, the downsides of being in a market that really doesn't have any competition is that there's always opportunities for other people to come into this market and take a slice of their pie. So I think that it really would benefit MapleStory in the long run to take some of these risks because these innovations to the game 
will ultimately give it a longer life and prevent competitors from coming in and making these innovations before MapleStory. I know there are a lot of people out there who would really love this idea, but also some people who are thinking like, why does this even matter? Or why would you want to make a new MapleStory when there's an old one? So please let me know what you think by liking the video if you enjoyed it, subscribing to me if you would like to see more content like this in the future, and also leaving your ideas and suggestions in the comments below. I would love to read them and have a discussion with y'all. So thank you very much in advance, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.